like, share, and subscribe to the Horny Channel and hit the notification bell. In the rule book of badness, what I have heard is that if you are a little bad man and you are working with the bad mans, the dons, and you were sent on a mission for whatever the reason is, or if you lock in a uh, shoes and for some reason or the other regardless of the reason why you so called there's a terminology called dropping the pew pew if you should be on a mission and drop one and return to base to mission control without bringing back that tool of the trade it would be better for you if you <laughs> did not return. That is what I heard. If somebody knows better than me, could you jot it in the comment area? Because most of you who are in the real bad man world that know every nook and cranny about the bad man situation, you will obviously know more than me. Yes, I heard that if you misplace one of the tool, more than likely, you're a goner. In some special exception rules, I don't know if it's so or not. This is hearsay badness. Rumor has it that if you um, misplace a tool and you can replace it, in some cases, it will be permitted for you to replace the tool. And I've heard that in other cases, whether you can return the tool or pay for the tool or repurchase the tool or not, you're still going to be dash away. So that is one of the drastic, ugly rule of being in the bad man's world. Rumor has it as well that if you borrow the bad man gun, there's a certain percentage of the, 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 the loot, the spoils, that will have to go to the person who you took the tool of the trade from to accomplish the mission. Me personally, tell you God truth, I don't know much rules about the badness thing. However, upon that the one day I hear say, in special cases are maybe not special maybe in most cases with different bad people you have the opportunity to replace the tool maybe with some people you cannot repay replace the tool at, you're gonna go you got you have to go you, you, it's, it's time to it's exit time as they say departure lounge or wherever they call it yes um in the police part of the world now, they say the cops are corrupted. The way the cops get to um, lock up people, they use trickery. Let's say this man was a, is a bad man and he dash away people on a regular basis. The police know that he's a regular dash away person. He has beaten enough kids on, te te let's say, technicalities or identifiable or witness get dash where a witness free to turn up whatever let's say and the federal brute that they, they know him good he's a repeat offender and they know him properly okay let's say that is that now let's say one day they catch him off guard and put some pellets upon him and then give him something and say this was his and they clap couple out of it and go down to the place and say it is they had to done it done him because he was shooting out it, did they did they play a card there did they did they do a thing bad did they play a sticky business upon him should he be caught and dash away because he's let's say he's a let's say you have 19 19 um, dashaways under his belt or notches and one day they catch him without a machine and they dash him away. Is they wrong? Because remember, you know, there is corruption and unnecessary and chicken dash away. And 
girls and when 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 the, when the bad people them run in upon some people when they have no strap and dash them way and treat them really bad and then one day the police see him and him not a strap on him and dash him way is that bad more time you know you have to check the ratio from both sides when you take on this game wait a minute from you take on this particular game you take on the risks risks that come it with the game and all of the corruptions that come it with the game the bad man them they play unfair and the police them they play unfair the two parties then play unfair the two parties are corrupted because it seems like the bad man world they friends are the workers them that is in the bad man world with them their little life doesn't matter the cronies that hang around the bad man's them for them little life is expendable same thing with the police and the bad man if the bad man catch the police off guard more than likely he's gonna dash him away if the police catch the bad man off guard more than likely he's going to dash them away so one of the things that i don't really like about the bad man part of world the bad man them cry too much excuse me remember i am not a bad man i am allowed to ball if certain things happen to me i'm a church person i'm a pastor the bad man them when them get and do done so-called wrong by the relevant authorities they scream and holler and cry for injustice but i guess that's part of the game as well because it's your opponent it's your rival it's your enemy yes so they ball and they cuss and they unfair treatment unfair treatment is that a feminine trait to cry and fear treatment I'm not talking in any particular case at this precise moment however war is war and it has nothing good about it so when a popo get himself off yard and get him business fix that's how it is and when a bad man get himself off yard and get him business fix that's how it is that's just how it is there is corruption on the side of the bad man and there's corruption on the side of the relevant authorities because in my views the bad man rules is something very difficult to take up seem like you can't get out of the game you're in the only way you can get out is prisoner or a box and you're supposed to be able to quit just like a woman leave relationship when they're ready I don't know I I do understand when the, you're in it you're in it because personally if I'm in it I'm in it if I'm a gangster I would expect to be a gangster for life I am a pastor so I am a pastor for life I would like to think maybe popos are popo minded for life if you can't manage it don't get into it in the bad man part of the world there's a lot of stretch in the jail or the prison i would like a phone call from a bad man that is incarcerated or has been incarcerated before to for us to elaborate and get into the mind of a bad man and then we would like some phone calls from some police as well to get into the mind of a police and see if we can learn from each other how to be better opponent or better community ends we we can learn a lot from each other because i t tend to teach the church brothers them to learn about the female sex as long as you're straight like arrow and you deal with woman you have to learn about them and ladies as long as you're straight like arrow and you need men you have to learn about them so it seems with the police and the bad man have to learn about each other. Maybe they could be better. Maybe they will be worse. I don't know. 
But I need some phone calls. The corruption of the bad man world is things don't run smooth. And if you're not the top dog, you're nobody sometimes. And the bad man rules. Somebody always want to take out the top man. So it's a dangerous situation and it's very cor corrupted. The police, they tend to be corrupted as heck as well. And the two of them use corruption to get to their goal. There is tricks and trade in the Batman world. And there's tricks and trades in the police world. Sometimes the bad man get to know the tricks and trades of the police world and, and the both of them intertwine and intertwine and intertwine into each other and know what, what is what and and if any young man can stay away from the badness, stay away from it. But if that's what you love, don't make nobody tell you nothing. Magic. <laughs> Do what you like. There is outcomes and consequences of every path in life that one takes. There is goodness and badness. There's benefits and there is non-benefits. If you can see the benefits in something, go for it. Try to have consideration with people and have sympathy with people. The police need to have sympathy and the bad man need to have sympathy. Not because you're a bad man, no sympathy is necessary. And not because you're a police, no sympathy is necessary either. I will thank you for subscribing to my channel and pressing the like button. And if you do comment, please do so. That would be splendid. I thank you and I will be here again with more communications and stuff like that you're true to the horny channel and i are your horny bastard <laughs> why do i keep laughing at the end of my videos like share and subscribe to the horny channel and hit the notification bell